Let's try connecting some accessories to the Apple Vision Pro. Starting with my MacBook Pro, which we already know connects, but we're also gonna try some other Apple products because you never know. For example, I tried to connect my iPhone and that did not connect to the Apple Vision Pro, interestingly enough. Afterwards, we'll try connecting some third-party accessories. All right, so I've been scrolling around on my laptop for a little bit, but now there's this button that shows up that says connect, so let's just press that. It says connecting. Cool. All right, so we knew that this would happen, so we're not surprised here, but this is awesome. So this isn't going to be aesthetic. Maybe we'll just place it here. Now I have a massive screen in front of me. Um, of my working screen, my work screen. Actually, this is like almost, it's at, not, not almost too big to work on, but it's definitely too big to work on. Um, also, it looks like our screen here completely blacked out on the MacBook, which is amazing. It automatically does that. We are off to a good start. This is going to be really good for privacy if you're using your MacBook in public, but don't want people to see. Um, I wonder if we can add more windows here. Like how do we, you know, I, we have one window, but what else can we do? Okay, let's try opening. Oh, Spotify is not included. Let's try listening to some sounds. So let's open Safari. I don't even know where to put this window. Oh, my keyboard's not connected yet. Okay, so before we get too distracted with this window, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can, is there Bluetooth anywhere here? This is the control center, there's Bluetooth. How do I expand on the Bluetooth? Unless it's only allowing us to connect. Okay, maybe it's only allowing us to connect one product at a time. Okay, this is here. Okay, at the moment, I'm not sure if it's going to allow us. You know what, let's just try turning on this keyboard. Will I get a little alert on my keyboard the way that I had? Um, so far, nothing showing up. Okay, so let's see if we can connect my keyboard. Here it is, I see it. Okay, it looks like my, my keyboard's connected. This is exciting. All right, and then while we're here, oh shoot, now it's starting to see all these other products around me. While we're here, let's see if we can connect this, if we can connect the mouse. Okay, there it is, under home mouse. Okay. <gasps> mouse input is currently not supported on Vision OS. <gasps> oh no. Okay, well, we hit our first roadblock. The mouse input is not connected, or the mouse input is not supported on the Vision OS. All right. Well, let's close out of that. Let's see. Um, oh, okay. Uh, so, okay, so the mouse works for my MacBook, but not yet. Um, but the mouse doesn't drag across my space into, say, this Safari window, which I have open natively in the Apple Vision Pro. But we should be able to click this YouTube channel Let's try listening to some lo-fi music. I'm using my keyboard now that we have this connected. Lo-fi music, copy, no copyright. Cause I do not want to get in trouble for this. That sounds so good. All right, let's lower the music a little so it's not obstructing my audio. By the way, to lower the music or the volume on Apple Vision Pro, once you start turning the digital crown, you can look at the audio instead um, instead of the default environment and that will, um, and the digital crown will allow you to increase or lower the audio. Okay, now I'm gonna see if we can have multiple windows open. Um, 
It doesn't look like it allows me to expand this window outside of here. I wonder what if are we able to make this not full screen? So what if I had two windows? And if I made this really big, how's the clarity? The clarity looks really readable, actually. This looks really good. I should probably work more from, I should probably work more from my Vision Pro. Okay, so for Apple products, um, all of them connect into the Vision Pro, except the mouse does not work on Vision OS yet. Okay, so, so let's go back to settings and now we're disconnected with the keyboard and mouse. Let's try this $500 Logitech keyboard um, with a built-in trackpad. By the way, the reason this keyboard's so expensive is because it's discontinued and apparently it was a really good keyboard and everyone still wants to get it. For this, I do not think I'm going to use my MacBook anymore. Let's just set this into pairing mode. Okay, it's in pairing mode. Okay, this is now in pairing mode and I do see it show up there. It says other devices. Um, the K830 Logitech keyboard. <gasps> okay, okay, wait, we might work. Let's see, Bluetooth pairing required. request. K830, okay, we have to enter the code. Okay, one, four, three, six, five, enter. Oh no, I thought we would be able to trick it. It says the mouse input's not supported still. All right, but I believe this keyboard part itself works, so. Let's try in this browser. Let's see, what if we type here with, and that's me. Let's see, is there a mouse here? No, the mouse doesn't work. Okay, well, the mouse does not work, but this third party keyboard does connect so far. Okay, but what if we want some privacy while in a meeting on the Apple Vision Pro or while listening to music? Let's see if the AirPods connect. I'm waiting for this to magically appear on my Apple Vision Pro, same as the laptop, but that would be cool if it happened. Cause you know how usually when you connect a Apple product to another Apple product, it usually just pops up magically, but this one's not showing up. So, okay, let's try. Go into settings. Let's see if this shows up. Oh, there they are, AirPod Pros. Will they connect? Hmm, not in range, maybe it's connected. Okay, I turned it off. I turned off Bluetooth on my phone so I can see if I can try to connect these now. Okay, they're definitely in range. They're so close to me. Oh, great. Okay, so it was just connected to my, my iPhone and I just had to disconnect it. Let's see how good this sounds. All right, pulling up, I guess. Wait, let's pull up. Yeah, I guess we'll pull up YouTube. We are still connected with this keyboard, so. Okay, so pulling up YouTube. To some space lo fi. Oh, okay. So, yes, the music goes completely through the AirPods, and just like with traditional usage of the AirPods, when you pull them out, it does stop whatever you're listening to. Place AirPods in both ears for spatial audio. Okay, the AirPods might be the coolest thing that I've connected to the Apple Vision Pro. Stop. It 
it has spatial audio. So if I put both AirPods in, then if I turn my head, the audio is still coming from the left side. That is actually the coolest product that I connected to this today. And And if I remove my AirPods, the audio will come straight out of my Apple Vision Pro. Let's put another one in. And when only one AirPod is in, you can just hear it regularly, like how you would normally listen to it. Very cool. All right, let me know what else you want me to try on the Apple Vision Pro. See you next time.